Okay, so I'm working in Dreamweaver. I have a page open and I'm going to show you how to add in a background, how to create your header and a spry nav bar. So I'm going to go through the first part rather quickly. So if I wanted to just add a color to my background, I can do this in Dreamweaver through the properties panel. I come to the properties panel. At the bottom, I hit page properties. Now you have HTML and CSS. I want to be in HTML. I hit page properties. I come, I'm going to do my appearance CSS, and I'm going to put a background color. Now, this is also where you would come if you wanted to put in a, um, not a background color, but a, a background image. So I hit apply, there is my gray color. I can change my font to what I'd like it to be. I'll come to this one. I could change the font color if I'd like to. Okay, and I think what I'm going to do actually is come on in and make this just one shade darker. I'll hit OK. All right, so now I have a gray background with white text. I come on in, I want to insert my header. Now, in order to do that, I open up my insert panel, and I'm going to do this through a div tag, through a div tag. So I come on in, insert div tag. I'm going to say at insertion point, yes. What does that mean? Let's take a look. What that means if I come on in to split, that insertion point will be wherever this cursor is. And what I want it to be is at the opening of the body tag. So here it goes. I come on in, insert div tag. Now I want this to be an ID. I'm going to put in header. You use ID if I will have one element named header on the page. And that's right, I'll have one header. So new CSS rule. I am going to best practices, put this on a style sheet. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to name this sample, okay, because it's a sample site, a test, and I'm going to say okay, okay. All right, I come on in to my files panel, and I can see that I have sample CSS. Now, one thing that I didn't do, though, is I wanted to actually stylize this header. See my header? It's kind of just boring. It's running across the entire thing. It reads from left to right. So let me edit this rule so I can come on into my CSS styles panel. I can click this little guy down here, edit rule, and I'm going to make it a box. and I'm going to give it a height of 60 and a width of 800. And then again, if I set my uh, margins on the right for auto, my margins on the left for auto, I hit apply it will center it and it looks like up oh, I put my height in at 800 I want to flip that so we can see what happened okay so I'm gonna come on in this will be 800 and this will be 60 now don't forget that this is set at pixels 60 pixels I hit apply and there's more like it there I have my header click off and I can see that the text is white Moving right along, next thing I want to make is my nav bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another div tag. Everything that we create inside of Dreamweaver will really be floating around in uh, inside of div tags. So I come on in and I come on in here and I'm going to insert yet another div tag. So I open up, up oh, and it's right in front of me. So I come insert div tag and I'm going to say that I want this one to be after the tag and I want it to be after header. Now, what you might look at as you as you work, look at this, you might find that you know, it would be really easy actually for you to even put a div tag within a div tag. Um, so you have a lot of options here. So really as you work, think about what it is that we're doing. So this will be after the tag header. Now I just want to show you this so it makes sense. We can see that this is the HTML, line 19 is the HTML for this div tag. The HTML is div ID. I see my opening um, and then my closing. This right here, the less than slash div greater than sign, that's the closing div tag. So, and what I'm saying is I want this to be after. So I'll come on in, do this one more time, insert div tag, and I'm going to say after tag, after header, and I'm going to name this one nav bar. All right, so what I want to show you right now is how you go about working with a really cool uh, element built inside of Dreamweaver and it's Spry. Now what Spry actually is, um, it gives it more interactivity and what we're going to find is that Spry works with JavaScript to create more interactivity. 
Okay, so what I want to do with the nav bar is I want to put it on my CSS. So this is best practice. I come on in, I put all my rules on my CSS, come on through. And what I'm going to do here for this box is I'm going to, um, actually I'm going to, I'm going to undo this right here. I'm going to put about five, a five pixel margin from the top. I want to center it auto on the right, auto on the left. Now I'm going to make the height about 65 and I want to see I want to put the width auto because I'm going to let the width if you ever put the width in as auto it will just build to the size of whatever it is that you're um, that you're creating so I'll hit OK I'm going to say OK and here it is now I can see that it's actually pretty big um, so let's actually try it runs the whole thing it's actually um, and I, I could specify the size a little more let's see if this works or not all right, so what I'm going to do is I just deleted my type. So I come on in, I can see that I deleted the type and all I have is that nav bar. And I want to insert a spry nav bar. So I come to my insert panel and I come on down and I have spry. I have spry. And as I look at this right here, what we want to take, what we're going to work with is we're going to try this one. We're going to insert a spry menu bar a spry menu bar so here goes so I click spry menu bar and I can say do I want it to be horizontal or vertical I'm going to say I want it to be horizontal I hit OK and there we have it four different items now let me actually preview this let's preview this and I can already tell hmm okay now when you save it see what happens Dreamweaver actually generates this is very important info um, this is the JS file. Okay, these are different GIFs that we need. Um, uh, the CSS, the Spry menu bar horizontal comes with its own CSS sheet. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to say yes. And what we can see, this is what our Spry menu bar looks like. Okay, so and what we want to see as we come on in and we look at this CSS, we can see that we have this folder and this is where everything is. Now, I could come on in and take a look at this CSS. Uh, and I want to look at it within the CSS sheet. But what I want to do right now is I want to edit this rule and center this. Okay, so what I could do is, and again, what gets confused about these programs is there's a lot of different ways to do the same thing. So I can come on into the properties panel, I can hit CSS panel, okay, and I want to edit this nav bar. And what I'm going to do for the width, get it off of auto. Let's put it in at 800. All right, so now we can see that it's actually centered and it's lining up better with this. All right, so next thing I want to go over with you is how do you go about, so now we can see we have this nice interactive, um, we have this nice interactive menu bar. We can come on in. So how do I go about changing this around because I'm not so sold on the color? And how do I go about putting my own items in here? So here goes. Um, what we would do is we could click on the top spry menu bar and then our properties panel is going to change. All right, so now if you start going in and typing up here, it will no longer work. It will, it will interfere with the JavaScript and interactivity. So we need to click on the blue portion of that. We can come on in. And item one, I can say I want this one to be home. Now I could put in my link. If I had a link to a file, I would put that in right there. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, now this has a couple drop downs. I want to get rid of those drop downs. Item two, I'm going to get rid of this. So I would hit minus. I'm going to get rid of item this item. All right, and this is where we feel so bad. The menu and all of its children would like will be deleted. Would you like to proceed? Yes. Delete the children. All right, actually, you know what? Let me come on back here. Okay, I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this properly. So here would be home. Item two, I'm going to give this a name. About. I come on into item three. I'll make this one. Portfolio. I'll come to item four. I click onto item four. Again, I need to change them over here contact okay so let's say that these are all of my different ones now as I come on in over here 
I can see that there's all of these. These would be the drop downs. If you want to change them, you can. If you want to delete them, I'm just going to delete them. You can add them too. I'll show you how to add them. Here's the about has no drop downs. Portfolio has some drop downs. Um, let's say I want to delete, delete. Now this one has a drop down within the drop down. I can delete that and it's saying you're going to delete its children. We're going to say, okay, no problem. Delete its children. If I wanted to add one, probably you can figure this out. I would just hit plus and then I could, um, you can say print. I could add another one. I could say, this is my, we could say this person put together a portfolio web. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me come back in. And then in here, we could put in, we'll say illustration. Okay, we'd put in all of our links and there we would have it now. But as we look at this, we wanna get rid of some of the way that this is stylized. So how do we go about doing that? Well, this is what we do. We come on in and we want to come on into our CSS styles panel and we wanna find the spry menu bar. Now, a lot of this as you look at it, um, you know, might not make 100% sense and, that, and that's okay. I don't want you to worry so much about that. And sometimes if you even click on here, you kind of get a sense of where you are. So we could say, okay, well, as we look at this, we're in the menu bar horizontal. All right, so let's go find menu bar horizontal and you know, link unordered list. These are all different rules. But what I would say to do is even hover through and start to look and see. All right, so this has a border on it and it's in menu bar horizontal. I don't want that border. So I'm going to actually delete that border, okay? Now I can see that it's got this background on it too. When I come on down to menu bar horizontal on the link, it's got this background color. I am going to delete that so I can, I can click this, I can turn it off. Okay, so now that's gone. Here's the color of my type. If I wanna change this to white, I can do that, okay? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I can come on in. If I wanted to change the background color here, I could do that too. Okay, so here's just a really quick example. Again, we change the background color. Oh, but I forget what color I changed it to. So it's actually a really good idea to, you know, write down color numbers. I'm just gonna go through this real quick. So I'm changing all of these blue and the blue is on the hover. All right, so let's actually take a look and preview this. We come on in, we click, we save, yes, home, about, portfolio, contact, okay? So the Spry menu bar is a nice way to add a little bit more interactivity as we move on through. And what you'll find in Dreamweaver, there's a lot of different Spry built in to Dreamweaver and it's a way to create more interactivity in your site working with JavaScript. Thanks for listening.